Gators sending the offense back to work. It's the NFL and on EA Sports. And the question is, are Get you ready for some football? This should be a good it's one to so watch. Nice to and it's coming up next on Madden NFL awesome. 25. Positive yards and the football ball. Set up a good second. The cannons of the pirate ship ready to fire in the north end zone. We can only be one place. Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa, the home of the Buccaneers. Good to be with you, Mike Tirico. Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, we got a couple of teams who love to throw the football. And you know how guys say, hey, we're not going against the other offense. We're going against the other team's defense. Greg, these star wide receivers, you know they're watching what the other guy does on the field here today. Oh, in their minds, there's no question. They are competing against one another. And I think that's what makes this league so fun is when these guys, they know each other. They study each other. They work together in the off seasons. A lot of times they're friends. But come game day, there is no question. At the end of this one, yes, they want their teams to win, but when they put their two box scores up next to each other, there's going to be some bragging rights come this offseason. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland, Carolina, and then with the Rams, Without year two, and it feels like he's found a home, Greg, here with the Buccaneers. One thing about this guy is he epitomizes the word resiliency. After a promising start to his NFL career, he hit a major wall. I mean, he was essentially, Mike, discarded by the entire league to the point where many felt he was destined to just be a career backup. However, once he got that second chance, he took it and ran with it. Now that his career is back on track, he's tasked with leading this team to many more victories. And if he plays up to that standard, he's going to give him a legitimate shot. On play action, Mayfield. Oh, in trouble. Down he goes. This has been a tough sequence right out of the jump. You work all week on your opening script, and they're usually the plays that you feel the best about to try to establish some sort of early rhythm, but through two plays, run and pass, all they've done is go backwards. Not the sharpest of starts on offense here in early third and long. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase and what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. The Commanders come out with the man they hope leads them into their new era. Jaden Daniels, the number two overall pick in this past draft from LSU. Greg, this is the man who won the Heisman Trophy with the Tigers in Baton Rouge a year ago. Quarterbacks like him are just so hard to defend, Mike, because not only can they beat you with their arm and their ability to process and spread the ball out to the other playmakers, but it's their ability to hurt you when things break down. It's just hard to defend plan B, plan C. You might defend plan A really well, but man, I'll tell you, you just can't simulate his speed in practice. You can't simulate his ability to make guys miss and extend plays. And when that coverage breaks down, or that defensive front doesn't get home, he can make you pay in a lot of different ways. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too far, and it draws the flag. in motion is Brown. Quick throw here is complete. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. The defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. Daniels to throw on second down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Luke McCaffrey, the intended receiver. Now it's going to be third down. Throw 
going is Daniel. He's got a man. It's McClure. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often, so that might be his first target. I don't think it's going to be his last. Daniel, going to throw again. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Bad in motion is Brown. Off the play fake. Here's Daniel. He'll be hit as he throws this time, and it's going to fall incomplete. He might be fortunate just to avoid the sack, and it'll set up a third down. Even in the air, here's Daniels. He's got his man. Right side, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds at the five. A nice throw by the rookie from LSU. And he's got his team a first down. Well, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive through the air, and that's exactly what they wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. This opening drive going to form so far. Now they've got it first and goal. Ben in motion is Brown. Throwing again. Daniel. Oh, this one caught at the four. That's a good game, That's so they have these rules for the receivers, Mike. They, they call them green the grass rules. And the idea is if you're running across the field and you're looking at the quarterback, you know, you're, you're going to stay boots. on the run. If you're not you looking at the quarterback, look, that look tells him, I'm going to sit in this soft zone. I'm going to what they call punch and pivot and stop. And that tells the quarterback to put the ball on your oh, chest. Man, that that nonverbal communication I, between the receiver back, and the quarterback, you recognizing it, when you're open, stay open. Yeah. That's the stuff that makes a lot of these offenses so difficult yeah, to defend. So can the defense come up with the early stop here on third and goal? Like and subscribe TV. Third and goal. It's Daniel. He pulls it in around the five. And this defense going to get to him at the three-yard line, bringing up fourth down. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision. Right this punt, and he'll take it on in. Brian Robinson, touchdown commander. You can't call nobody. Girl, my probation thing's going to be all right. The kicking team off for the extra point. He's got it. And the Commanders will take a 7-0 lead. Excuse me. 